Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Right, okay, so you guys can probably tell I'm in the exact same outfit as the last vlog. Um, that is purity because I've been filming it right after the last one. Um, I would normally like slip on a different top or grab something just to sort of make it look a bit different. Um, I'm not doing it this time, partly because my next few, few vlog recordings, um, obviously I'm... <laughs> Obviously, those of you who know I'm becoming a homeowner, hopefully, touch wood fairly soon. Um, that also means I need to start thinking about packing up my stuff and sorting through my stuff and getting rid of some of my stuff because that's what I do every time I move. For me, moving is very stressful. Um, so I'm not necessarily going to have all the things on hand that I would usually have. So if I'm repeating outfits at all over my next few vlogs or repeating outfits more often or filming a whole bunch of them all in one go, um, that is kind of why. Um, having said that, this is the last one that I'm planning to film today, partly because in order to film one that I know I want to come after this one, in fact I might even not name what the next one is going to be at the end of this one, because at this point in time it could be one of two um, things that I could be talking about in the next one, it could either be the next home ownership part or it could be about something else entirely um so because of that i'm not filming it today i'm filming it when i've got a better idea of what i need to be filming but obviously when i do do that one i'm probably going to be doing all of april at the same time as well so yeah i'm trying to make today as stress free as possible so basically, I was just feeling too lazy to go and change my top, and this is the excuse that I've come up with for it. <laughs> Although it's a genuine enough excuse. Alright, okay, so last time I said that this one was going to be about Ned Gabby and Kiljevil Girls, because I've now had them for, at the point in time that I'm filming this, almost a year, and at the point in time that you're watching this, just over a year. Um, the 7th of March? No, the 6th of March. <laughs> The 6th of March is when I is the, the day that I actually went out and I actually got them last year, according to my calendar. Um, so I could have sworn it was the Monday that I got them when it was the Wednesday. So it's only leap year this year. <laughs> but I know I definitely marked it down, right? So yeah, no, I, I, I don't know, was it 6th of March? Tuesday, I don't know. But anyway, either way. I have now had my delightful little Gerber girls for a year. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, this time last year I got myself a couple of uh, pet gerbils. They are called Mew and Celebi because I am Pokemon obsessed. Um, I, I, one of the things I plan to do when I get my when, when I have finished purchasing my first property and have savings again is get myself a Nintendo Switch so I can get Let's Go Eevee or Let's Go Pikachu depending on which one I want and then later in the year when the new Pokemon games come out I'm going to get those as well um, at the moment obviously that's not something that I can afford to do <laughs> if you've watched my last book you'll know exactly why um, but right now I'm kind of like yeah um, so I'm Pokemon -y obsessed um, and that was a really badly worded sentence. So I am Pokemon obsessed um, in all the good ways. Um, because of course, there, you can only be obsessed with Pokemon in all the good ways. Um, and that is kind of why I decided to name my two little gerbils, me and Celebi. Um, well, I say that. I've sort of come up with various different names that I potentially could have called uh, my future pets. Um, this was at the point in time where I wasn't sure necessarily exactly what my pets would be. Um, I settled on Mew and Celebi kind of around the first time that I did actually see them. Um, so anybody who's in the UK that remembers, um, this time last year we had snow and we had a lot of snow. Um, and I'd spoken to my landlord at that point um, about potentially getting a pet or a couple of pets that they call the gerbils um, and he said yes and so that's when I first started going to my 
it is pets at home that I get them from. I know there are a lot of people out there who are going to be like, but why would you get them from pets at home? There are no gerbil breeders down in my end of the country. None whatsoever. And I was determined to have gerbils. <laughs> so yes, I completely understand it's not necessarily the best place to get pets from, although, yeah. I think they're necessarily as bad as um, some people would necessarily believe they are. I think, or at least I think our standards are better now than they used to be. Um, but I do fully understand, because I did do a lot of research into it, why people do have concerns when it comes to pets which have come from pet stores um, and, and stuff like that. But, you know, they, with, with my little gel girls, they did go through with me, did a, a health check with me before I took them. Obviously, I'd done enough research beforehand to know whether or not they knew what they were talking about. Um, obviously, not being an expert, but, you know, knowing what they, they should have been doing and what they should be telling me and stuff like that. So I'm fairly confident that my little girl, girls were healthy when they were given to me, and considering I've had them for all, almost a year from my point of view, and, you know, hopefully... Oh yeah, from your point of view. <laughs> um, and they've made it through their first birthday just fine. So yeah, I'm, I'm reasonably confident that they are two help, ha happy, healthy little gerbil babies. Um, but anyway, back to, to my actual story. So this time last year with all the snow, um, that's when I was popping down to, to the pets at home and looking in at their little gerbil display. And little gerbil display, little gerbil, where the gerbil were. Gerbils were. Um, and even though I'd sort of said to myself, oh, I'm just, I, I'd like to get two who were you know, different colours so that they were easy to tell apart. Um, and they, they were, there were a number in there that were different coloured. Uh, just, there were some ginger ones, there was, a, there was a black one. And then there was this, these two essentially white ones. Um, and they were the ones that kept catching my eye. Um, and I know it sounds like a really odd reasoning, but they kept grooming the others. And they kept grooming each other as well. I mean, mostly, mostly when I was sort of like looking at them for the time of day it was, and because it was quite cold and, and the gerbils, um, they were sleeping. But every now and then, you know, these two would wake up and start grooming the, the, whoever was closest to them. Um, and then at the end of the weekend, because I'd, I'd worked one of those days, um, so I wasn't able to sort of pop in and see them, um, but like on the, yeah, it must have been the Monday, it must have been on the Tuesday, that must be like, <laughs> whatever it was, end of the weekend, came in, and they were the only two that were left. And I, I, as I said, I'd already sort of eyed them out, because I'd noticed that they were very affectionate, and, you know, and they were still very affectionate to each other and stuff. And, that's usually a good sign that those gerbils are going to get on really well, um, which is what you want because gerbils are social creatures and they need the company. So you don't want two that aren't going to get on very well. Um, and I sort of spent some time just, just watching them and realised that I could tell them apart. Um, at which point I kind of realised they were my gerbils. <laughs> And a lot of very quick buying of the stuff that I was missing happened. Um, I mean, I had the cage by that point. Um, I just needed like things like bedding, and I think I need to pick up food. Um, I think there might have been one other thing that I wanted to pick up that I didn't have at that point, but that I did. I then did then sort of like, okay, I need to buy it now. Um, and then the following day, I went down um, with my mum, because she has a car, and I don't drive. <laughs> And we, we went and um, I got my little job babies. Um, and they are exactly as affectionate to each other as I thought they would be. In fact, every single time I see one of them grooming the other one, uh, whichever way around it is, it just makes me go, this, this is exactly why I fell in love with you two, because you're just so sweet and so affectionate. And <laughs> I'm sorry, Mew Mew, that Selby is annoying you for the 20th time because she's grooming obsessed. <laughs> it, it is incredibly adorable from my point of view. Um, and they do, they're, they're just such affect, they're so affectionate to each other and they're always checking up on each other and they're, they're you know, really good sisters to each other, I think. If you can be good sisters when you're gerbils. Um, and they've got their own little personalities. Like Mew is definitely the more confident one. So when they're out in their play area, she's the one that will come up and sit in my hand. 
and then run along there and like be looking around a little bit and then try to get up onto my shoulder and stuff. Um, Whereas Celebi is a little bit more timid. She's more used to me handling her now, but she's not necessarily volunteering volunteering herself to be handled very often. Um, she does. Uh, there are certain things, you know, certain times where she'd be like, I, I want some attention too, please give me some attention. But she's a little bit more skittish and a little bit more timid. Although she's not quite as skittish as she, she used to be. Um, she's also not completely white. So, um... Mew is definitely Mew is definitely a little white baby, and she's got little black claws. But she's definitely a little white baby. Um, with like a little maybe a little bit of darkness on her nose, so she can tend to look a little bit evil. She can tend, she can give you a bit of an evil face. Um, she I think her her face is sort of like slightly more rodent like, and I think that's what it is uh, because of the sort of the darkness around her at the end of her nose. Um, it makes her face look more rodent like, so she can look a little bit more evil. She can look completely adorable and sweet when she wants to. Quite often she looks quite evil, <laughs> but evil in that sort of adorable little evil way. Um, whereas Celebi is more of a very very pale grey with white features. Um, so she's got like a greyish face but like her nose is kind of white so she doesn't quite have the same rodenty look. She's also got like a little diamond of white kind of there and she's got white around her front legs as well. So if you like replaced all of the bits of her that are grey with kind of the same green that Celebi has, it's a Celebi. <laughs> she, she is legitimately a Celebi. She's almost completely marked like a Celebi would be marked. And it's so adorable. <laughs> I say that, she's probably not quite as marked in quite the same way as a Celebi. It's like, my memory for exactly what a Celebi looks like is probably not as good as it should be. But, you know, in my head, she kind of looks like a little Celebi and it's really cute. It was really cute, they're both really cute, and um, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely had a good year with my little gerbil babies, and you know, they, they're going strong, and they will do little things, like last night, um, when I got the hoover out to do a little bit of hoovering near their cage, they both came over, and they weren't intimidated by the hoover at all, they were just both looking at me going, what are you doing? <laughs> We want attention. We want attention. Um, so they are, they are perfectly adorable and perfectly affectionate. And, you know, they they are not, you know, necessarily the most cuddly pets in the world because you know they are small, uh, small rodents. But they, you know, they give me a lot of joy. I, I love just spending time sort of watching them and doing my writing. I will quite often go to the cage, like. Um, interact with them and go back to the writing and go back to the cage <laughs> just because they're doing something adorable and you know I want to fuss them for a little bit um yeah <laughs> not sure what else I can say thank you for listening to me babble um like a proud little fur mummy um about my adorable little fur babies for a bit <laughs> um so anyway, like I said, I am not 100% sure what topic is going to be talked about next time. Because if everything moves the way that it's supposed to, there is a good chance that the next vlog will be the next part of the home ownership journey. Um, and I'm, I'm guessing either way, all the stuff behind me is probably going to not be there. Um, but however, if things don't progress as quickly as I'm hoping, then the next one, well the next one might still be the next part of the home ownership journey, but it also could be something else. Um, it all depends on how quickly things progress and you know, where I am in the process at that point. As I said, the only thing you can probably guarantee is that a lot of the stuff behind me will have been packed away. Um, but, you know, that's just going to be how it's going to be. <laughs> I hate packing. I really hate packing. Uh, I, I, I do. I, it, moving, moving is so stressful. Moving is so, so stressful. I don't know. It's, it's if I could sort of just magically teleport all my stuff from where it is to the new place without having to pack anything up, that would make me so happy. But I know that's not very realistic and stuff. 
so I just have to be stressed. <laughs> I just have to be very, very stressed. Uh, you can see which things stress me out. Um, and it's not the, the not knowing stuff, and it's not the having to wait on stuff, it's everything else. <laughs> <laughs> this this combined with my last one, you can you can see all the stuff that kind of stresses me out. Um, so yeah, um, the next vlog more than likely will be the next part of home ownership journey, but it could be on something else. So I can't say for definite what the next one is going to be about, but I hope you're looking forward to it anyway. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, even though there's just a lot of me kind of babbling randomly about getting my travels last year. Um, and you know how wonderful and, and, and happy my, my little travel girls make me. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you've enjoyed this one. And I'm sorry for those of you out there who are not fans of rodents, but that's that's one of the reasons why they not appeared directly in this video. Because I know certain people that are not fans of rodents. <laughs> um, I I find them I find them delightful myself. Um, so that's just me. Anyway, um, as I said, I hope you enjoyed this one. I don't know how many times I need to say that. <laughs> Be looking forward to the next one, whatever it happens to be on, and I will see you guys next time. See ya! <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!